742, important information coming from Anderson County Public Works. Yeah, listen to this. They're ridding the county of all illegal signs this morning. And Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu is live in Anderson to explain what this all means. Hey, Michelle. Hey, good morning. Well, illegally placed signs are a common sight, so the Public Works Department wants to change that, and it's part of their Sign Blitz signage campaign. It happens every year, and they're sending out people from eight different departments to clean the county of the clutter from these signs that are illegally placed. Now, employees will be looking out for signs that encroach on any right-of-way, street, road, or highway. They're removing signs painted on or attached to trees, rocks, utility poles, street signs, or traffic light poles. And this is all to protect public safety and maintain an attractive community. It's also to avoid visual cluttering at intersections and minimize distractions to drivers. And finally, to protect economic development as a vital part of recruitment to the area. Now, Public, public Works wants people to also know there are laws to abide by if you did want to place a sign on private property. A couple of those things to keep in mind, you must get a permit and a letter of approval from the property owner. It must stand five feet away from the property line and a security deposit is required by a county ordinance and it will be returned to you once you remove that sign after 30 days. So lots of things to keep in mind. We have made applications available on our website and our Fox Carolina News app if you want to place a temporary sign out near private property. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in studio.